Good evening, everybody. If you've spent any time out at Rapid City uh, baseball or softball diamonds over the last quarter century, you've probably run into Joe Burmeister. The longtime area coach is currently serving as the leader of the Rapid City Assault. Here's a closer look. Joe Burmeister has spent 34 years coaching youth softball and baseball, the last 25 at Rapid City. And Burmeister got bit by the coaching bug while he was in college. But one of the jobs was is I needed to find a coach for all of the teams in our small town. So I had to have a t-ball coach, a girls softball coach, a Babe Ruth coach, uh, and I couldn't find a little league coach. So I went to the uh, the board, city board in Chapel, Nebraska, where I grew up, and said, "What do I do?" And they said, "You've got to coach it." And so all of a sudden, I started coaching, and I fell in love with it. In a way, he kind of lets us coach ourselves. Um, he steps back when he needs to so we can come together and I think that helps us become more of a team than just running the field by ourselves. Burmeister got his start coaching baseball, but for the past dozen years he's coached softball and Burmeister enjoys giving instruction to his players. Just from the pure coaching perspective, I just love being able to teach the game uh, to kids. There's nothing more rewarding than you work on something diligently, particularly when it's something that maybe seems a little bit foreign or hard for them to work on. And the first time they utilize that skill in a game and it clicks, it's, it's so rewarding to see the look on their faces and to see them experience that. Yeah, we've definitely grown as a team, especially these past three years. We've become more better and play better. Burmeister has a strong bond with his players, and while he coaches them up on the field, he uses softball to teach life lessons. And it's so great to, to, to have these young athletes come through the program that we run here with the Assault and, and have them build relationships and want to come back and be a part of what we do and watch them develop and, and just remind them that, that I'm not teaching you to be a good softball player. We want you to be a, develop into a good person and, and, and have success in life. Coach Burmeister does a great job and has helped a, a lot of Rapid City kids in the last quarter century. Now in the world of Legion Baseball today, the Rushmore Classic cranked up over at Peatling Field. The Post-22 Expos doubled up Rapid City Post-315, 8-4. Spearfish and Belfouche are also squaring off. That game is delayed in the fourth inning with Post-164 leading it. It's a tight one, though, 4-3. to I'll highlights from that matchup back here for you tonight at 9 and. 10. I managed to get there right before the rain came. Now the post 22 hard hats are on the road for a double header against Pier this evening. Game one is in the fifth inning with the hard hats holding a 10 five lead game two coming up following that one. And after getting out rain that rained out last night, six time this year that the Sasquatch have had a home rain out where they're playing a double header against the Badlands big sticks this evening. Game one is in the seventh inning with the big sticks leading by the score of eight to one. One. I, th I think the Sasquatch should file a complaint with da David Stradling. Six rainouts already this season for home games. Now, we uh, have more Legion baseball coming up this week. Of course, the Rushmore Classic is out at post 320's Pete Lean Field, and the annual Firecracker Tournament Jack begins on Friday out at Fitzgerald Stadium. So what about the Twins today? The Twins' struggles continued. The Braves finish off a three-game sweep of the Twins this afternoon as Atlanta got the win by the score of 3-0 over Minnesota. And also in the big leagues this afternoon, it was the Battle of Washington, D.C. versus Washington State. The Nationals knocked off the Mariners by the score of 4-1. Now, we just got through the NBA draft, uh, NHL draft ready to go now. That's right. NHL draft just started about half an hour ago, and as expected, Connor Bedard selected by the Blackhawks with the number one overall pick. Bedard expected to be the great next player in the NHL, some saying the best draft prospect since Sidney Crosby. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. And we'll